welcome to Sea Palette. So today we made a wind measuring robot.
love this robot, it's gonna be what? All right, so let's see what do we got here. Okay, so first thing, when we start the program, we are setting the location. And in this case, it's uh, set to Los Angeles. And then we get the forecast for uh, Los Angeles. Forecast uh, to now means that it's gonna set uh, the forecast to the current uh, point in time. Next, we are gonna write the wind speed in miles per hour on our display, which is uh, top of the hub, which is here, which is currently showing zero. Um, and after that, we are gonna go into a loop, which is going to repeat itself for five times. And uh, we have a motor connected on the connector A. And uh, that will basically, the speed of that motor will be set to the wind speed uh, in miles per hour. And I just ran it. So last time the speed for uh, loss, uh, wind speed in Los Angeles was around nine miles per hour. So you'll see that, we'll show you on the display. Uh, the next uh, part of the operation uh, function is uh, the motor, uh, which is connected on A, is going to be set at a, at a position, which is going to be the starting position. And then the next uh, action is going to uh, run the motor for uh, up to 45, uh, up to 85 degrees. And after that, it's gonna come back to its original position, which is position zero, by turning, a motor is gonna turn anti-clockwise and uh, uh, 45 degrees anti-clockwise and will go back to its, uh, the robot will go back to its original position. So let me quickly show you uh, the robot. So let's see the motor part. So that's the motor and once we run it, you'll see that we'll move the robot uh, downwards to 85 degrees, and then we're gonna bring it back. And on the display, we'll see the uh, wind speed for Los Angeles, as well as for uh, San Jose. Let's start with the Los Angeles. I'm gonna hit the play button, and we'll go to our hub. And you see 9.39539, which is around nine miles per hour. So based on the speed of the wind, the robot is either gonna move faster or slower. So it's gonna go for five times, as we mentioned in our loop here, five times. And once it completes, we're gonna try to change the city here from Los Angeles to, let's say, San Jose. And I'll hit return. We're gonna hit the play button again. Let's check the speed here. So in San Jose, it's pulling the speed. It says, still fetching it. It's around, I actually missed it. So let me try it one more time. I'm gonna stop it and hit the play button again. Let's, so it's 0 0.894 something. So let's see, it's gonna be super slow. Look at that. It's very slow. It's very slow. So that clearly, uh, you know, gives us an indicator that in San Jose city, the wind is very slow. Look at that, that's very slow. Let me change it back to Los Angeles and you'll see the speed at which the robot is in. Here you go. So. Enter, run. Let's look at the speed. It says nine point something. Look at the speed. Here you go, fast. So which means in Los Angeles, the speed is, uh, you know, miles per hour is much higher versus what is in San Jose in Silicon Valley. Thank you guys. Bye, Steve.